Hello, uh, I'm Dr. Crowley and welcome to Case of the Day. Today we're going to talk about uh, something I get asked about a, about a lot and that is what is a refraction. <clears throat> and so a refraction is actually the method in which we determine your glass prescription. And so this instrument is called a foropter and it has all these lenses inside the foropter so that way we can offer a patient essentially an unlimited almost amount of choices as far as what glass prescription or what glass they think they see the best with. So some of the lenses in here when we click this dial these are spherical lenses that is um, they're just round normal lenses like a magnifying lens and <clears throat> so someone who's nearsighted or farsighted and they have no astigmatism then this these spherical lenses then correct the vision so we're going to ask some a patient is this lens better the first glass or the second one and we change the glass and we give you an option of which glass you see better with then people who have astigmatism that is their eyes shaped more like a football than a basketball so therefore a round eye or without astigmatism the cornea is totally round like a basketball so when light goes through it all the lights points are focused to one point. If your eyes shaped like a football then it's steeper on one side flatter on the other so when light goes through they don't get the light doesn't get bit at the same amount so therefore that light is focused sort of to a line inside the eye and so when people have astigmatism and they look at a light at night and they don't have their glasses on they see a streak coming out of the light because they're that's how the light is being focused in their eye. So these other lenses then have the astigmatism in it. So then we have what's called a Jackson cross cylinder that has a astigmatism lens exactly at 90 degrees opposite of each other. And so then we ask people which glass is better so we know the axis. That is what, how many degrees, where the axis, where do they like the astigmatism to be located and then we flip the lens the cross cylinder in the other direction and then we start asking again how strong of a astigmatism lens do they want in that number of degrees that is at 180 degrees or whatever that amount of degrees is and then we come back from fine tune the cylinder and that's how you choose a glass prescription so um, there is obviously some um, expertise on part of the person doing the refraction to give you options but still as a patient you're the one that's sort of choosing that lens so it's sort of a cooperative effort on trying to get the right glass prescription for a patient. Now uh, another thing that has always get asked about very commonly is that a refraction is considered by most insurance companies and Medicare is a non-medical part of the eye exam that is they do not cover the cost of doing this part of the of refraction of an eye exam. I disagree with that but that's what, the Medi that's what Medicare says and most insurance companies. They've done that because they don't want to pay for it basically. But a refraction is very important. It re really is a medical, um, does give medical information. Anytime we um, make decisions on someone's health of their eye a major factor in deciding what's going on with someone's vision or a health of their eye is what is their best correctable vision that is what is the best vision you have giving we find out through the glasses that you with a refraction you can see 2020 or sometimes better than 2020 but we need to know what that what that number is because all decisions are pretty much based on that best correctable vision. So if you came in and your vision is 2020 the year before or two years before and now you come in and it's 2025 or 2030 a little worse, I want to know is that just you now are developing some astigmatism, you become a little nearsighted, farsighted. I want to know whether you still can see the 2020 or not or is this 2025 or 2030 because you have an eye disease. So you can see it's important for us to know what someone's best correctable vision is because then if you're not correctable to 2020 anymore then I have to find out why. Sometimes it's not always obvious in an eye exam but if there is 
a vision problem and we can't correct you to your 2020 vision, then we have to get to the bottom of why you don't see 2020. So it's extremely important to know what your best correctable vision is. And so it's too bad insurance companies and Medicare have chosen not to cover it in most cases uh, because it really gives us valuable information about the health of your eye. So a refraction is just not to change, to determine glass prescriptions, though it is a part of it. Also, refraction is a medical part of your eye exam in determining your best correctable vision so we can follow the health of your eye. So if you have any questions about what a refraction is or any other questions about your eyes, you can always contact us at the website. We'll be happy to try to answer your questions. If, may, if not, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.